What is going on guys and girls? My name is James Orthexy and welcome back today to Bendy and the Ink Machine. How are we doing everyone? Welcome back, welcome back. Today we find ourselves finally in chapter 4. So yeah, what we're doing here is basically we've done like a little mini series revisiting the Bendy and the Ink Machine games but this time around, da da da, we have the amazing seeing tools. So yeah, what we're doing is we are going through each one of these chapters and we are trying to find every single one of the new secret messages using the seeing tool. And so far, we've done pretty good. So we've done chapters one, two, and three. I was super like concerned about replaying chapter three because I have memories of that game when it first came out of it being a complete nuisance, especially with the Alice Angel fetch and gather quests. However, they've definitely changed them since the times that I was playing them and they weren't too bad. So yeah, I'm glad to have done it, but we are now in chapter four. So yeah, kind of looking forward to replaying this one actually. We've got the um, the Beast Boris battle. We've got the, uh, the Bertrand Piemont carousel battle as well. We've got those little mini games and things, but we start right from the beginning. Aha! And we have our first message. Okay. He can't be saved. Oh, geez. So, yeah, these are really cool. It's kind of like you're basically foreshadowing the chapter, but you can only see them after you've completed them. So, you he can't be saved. I'm guessing we're talking about Boris here, because if we were doing this on the first run, we're trying to save Boris, aren't we? But the reality is no. We're stuck in a loop. The same thing keeps happening time and time again. Boris cannot be saved. <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, I'm just kind of making my way through the chapter. So yeah, this is the secret meatly room found in chapter four. Uh, this one was one of the cooler meatly rooms, actually. He's having a sausage barbecue. Beautiful. But behind him, it says beefy. <laughs> I don't think this has anything to do with the actual game. It's just kind of like a little Easter egg thing. I think you get an achievement for finding the meatly rooms. Um, but yeah, it says beefy on the wall. I thought I might as well show you that. Um, yes, yeah, so... We're basically making our way into the archives now, so it's kind of cool to replay these to sort of remind ourselves. Uh, this was the accounts office, I think, and this was Grant. Uh, and I remember rightly, like, he went a bit mad. And this, like, um, this audio cassette is kind of him being consumed by ink and going crazy and just weird. It's really strange. Uh, but yeah, let's go and head to the archives now. So I've unlocked the gate with the, uh, the turn wheel. Oh, yeah. Now I remember. So I think this is like the first time that we ever meet the Lost Ones. Yeah, it's so weird. I don't know if there's any secret messages in this place, but if there are, we'll find them. So uh, yeah, I've just got through the um, like the big sort of chasm thing, and I'm sort of going up the main uh, ink machine pathway. So yeah, brand new message here. Uh, we've got an Alice Angel poster, and then it says, she's toying with you. Dun, dun, dun. I mean, I guess we can kind of figure that out. She is playing some super duper shenanigans here. Um, and yeah, she just talked to us, and she basically says, like, are you looking for your little friendly wolf? Blah, 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 blah. Uh, okay, cool. So, so far, not too many messages. We've had, what, two of them so far? But I'm hoping that when we start to get into, like, the, the main area, there's going to be a few more to look at. Um, it seems like so far, like, the best messages are in chapter one. <laughs> I don't know why, but yeah, it seems like those are the coolest ones. Um, but yeah, we never know. Never know what you're gonna find, so... I don't think there's anything else here, apart from she's toying with you. Oh, yeah! It's when this weird one walks across the top. This was so confusing when we first saw this. He always fights me. Oh, he's so oh, no. sad. Yeah, they're trapped down here, dudes. They're trapped. But I guess, in a way, we're trapped as well. I mean, the player, we never actually see, like, what we look like. So we don't look like one of those lost ones. We don't look inky, because otherwise, if we were inky, we wouldn't have been able to cross the big pool of ink to get into the ink machine in Chapter 5. But, I mean, technically, we're kind of one of the lost ones as well. We are... We are, we are lost down here. Oh yeah, this is a weird room. Are we ready? Oh. This is one of my favorite rooms from chapter four. It was just so weird. But there's no hidden messages in here. Why? This would have been such a good spot to put one. 
Oh well, okay. So I need to go through the vent shafts now. Um, nothing? Ah. Oh. I thought there would have been one here. Oh well, okay. Vent shafts we go. Okay, so we've made our way up to the first time we hear from Bertrand, who is like the, the guy who created Bendyland. Well, the prototype for Bendyland. So we've just heard like the message where basically... Joey Drew is starting to cause shenanigans, and we basically learn that Joey Drew takes all the credit for Bertrand's creation. Um, so yeah, the one thing that we see here is on the wall, it says, Regrets. Regrets, Joey? Question mark. So we're kind of asking, you know, do you regret sort of messing Bertrand around? I guess. I think that's the only thing that we can see in here. So yeah, we're kind of asking, does he regret it? Does he regret, like, doing all of these people dirty? I don't know, maybe he does, maybe he doesn't. Who knows? I think that's all that's in here, though. Okay, just in the minigame area, uh, the massive bendy cutout has a big mustache. <laughs> uh, well, there you go. I mean, why not, right? Ooh, okay, so I've just unlocked uh, one of the first rooms. This is probably the spiciest one that we've seen so far. Reliving the past doesn't change it. Dun dun da. I think that's the biggest clue we've had so far. So, I mean, we're in this, like, loop. And we keep reliving the same moments over and over and over and over again. But no matter what we do, every single time we do it, nothing ever changes what's happening here. So we can't break that cycle. We can't break that loop. And reliving the past over and over and over, nothing ever changes. Because once something's done, it's done. And this could be a reference to us replaying this thing over and over and over or it could be a reference to Joey because whatever Joey did he can never change that what's done is done and that's it interesting hmm. ah next up we got this one dream too big and you will fail I mean once again it's kind of a direct relation to Joey Drew maybe his dream was far too big maybe this is a reference to Bendyland Maybe it was too much to take on with the cartoon and, like, the animations and then the theme park. And then you've got all of the toys bringing them to life. Hmm. It reminds me of the saying, if you fly too close to the sun, you're going to burn your wings. It's kind of like the, the Icarus melty wings. He flew too close and it burnt, it melted his wings and then he's, uh, yeah. Kind of reminds me a little bit of that. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, I'm going to move these cans and then get these guys around. I remember this bit. Uh, okay, let me go and do this. Oh, we've got one of these lost ones just crying here, and it just says, Please don't cry. Oh, no. So I feel like we, we've got some kind of emotional investment in these guys. You know, like the, uh, the lost ones. Okay, there's nothing in here. Uh, so yeah, these are like some, some of these animatronic versions, which is really weird. So, I mean, it's kind of like... It's sort of interesting, so there is some kind of mechanical stuff going on here, because when we do see Boris for the second time, he's, we think he's Tom Connor, but he has, like, a metal arm. So maybe he kind of raided some parts. It'd be pretty cool if there was, like, an arm missing. I guess there's a hat. Ooh, actually. Arm, question mark. Oh, I think we found something. Can you see it? Like, I don't know if you guys can see that, but on the desk, in black writing, it says arm, question mark. And there's like a hand missing from this animatronic. Now, I think this might be the exact same hand that is on like the mechanical Boris. So at some point, he must have been down here to like raid the parts. Ooh, we found a thing. I didn't notice that last time. Nice. Okay, we're going into the, uh, the carousel battle here. So yeah, just one thing on the wall. It says, again and again, around and around. Which is kind of like a double-edged one, so it could be referencing the fact that a carousel goes around and around and around. Or I think it's more of a reference that we're stuck in this loop, so we keep doing it again and again. It keeps going around and around and around and around and around and around and around. Like a carousel. Very clever. Very clever. Alright. I don't know if there's anything else in here particularly. Uh, we need to go and do this battle. So, I'll tell you what. We'll do the battle. Oh, I think I can see something over there. But we'll do the battle first, and then we'll... Uh, We'll go and check that wall. Um, I need an item, don't I? Where is it? It's a spanner. Okay, we've got two more left to do here. So, boom and boom. He did. 
Oh, it's one of the coolest things in this game, I think. This is such a mad boss. And... He's done. See, one thing that I heard there in the, um, in the audio cassette was... It was super interesting. He basically said that... Jerry Drew is the architect of nightmares, or something like, you have a dream, but Jerry Drew is the architect of nightmares. I guess you can kind of say that we're kind of, kind of in a bit of a nightmare, aren't we? Oh. What does that say? That says, time wounds all heals. Time wounds all heals. Okay, so maybe that means, like, the more time we've had to think about this, or maybe the more time the other people have had to think about this, the more bitter they are getting. So, you know, the longer it goes on without answers, they can't let go, they can't give up from all of the shenanigans. Maybe it's a reference to us, in that we've been away for it so long, and we've seen all of our dreams and our creations get taken away from us. Maybe we're the one that's getting super-duper bitter about it. Maybe that's a reference to Bertrand in that, like, he's sort of had more time to think about it and he can't believe that Joey betrayed him. Huh. Cool. Okay, so we're just about to pop off the lights here for the second projectionist. This is the one that gets killed by the Ink Demon. There's something kind of interesting that I want to see there, which is one of the audio cassettes and it has a secret message above it. Oh. Okay, good, good, good. We've cut the power. Uh, is there anything up here? I don't think so. Um, there's like an achievement. If you um, if you go behind here, it's like a hidden achievement thingy. And you do that. Yeah, it takes your picture and it gives you an achievement if you haven't done it already, which is kind of nifty. Uh, but yeah, check this out. So, uh, I just saw this. So, this is where the trains are. Um, and I remember this bit. I don't think there's anything on the top floor, but I wanted to have a little listen to this. I don't quite remember what it says, but yeah, look at this. It says, that's the Joey I knew. So let's have a listen. I believe there's something special in bombs. With true inner strength, you can conquer even your biggest challenges. You just have to believe in yourself and remain honest, motivated, and above all, who you really are. Okay, let's stop right there. I can only do so many takes in this trash today. And tell the guys in writing, I want more use of the word dreaming in every message. Keep railing on that, okay? Dreaming, dreaming, dreaming. People just eat up that kind of slop. Hmm? What? It's still on. Well, turn it off, damn it! Ah! So that's the Joey I knew. So basically, he's kind of... He's... We're saying already that, you know, we always knew that he... He was fake. He was false. He was putting on this front when in reality he was kind of a nasty bloke and we knew that all along I'm still running I'm still running with the fact that Joey betrayed us and he like sacked us or, or asked us to leave or or did something has to be right hmm anyway oh projectionist run Run, 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 run. Okay, so this is where the demon, uh, ink demon kills the projectionist. Whoop. Hello, sausage. Okay, we can't do anything here. It's just a cutscene. So, uh, yeah, anyway. Whoa. Oh, I forgot how weird this bit was. And he did. The Ink Demon knows we're here. He knows we're in the box, but they can't get into the little miracle stations. It's kind of weird. Okay, here we go. Haunted house. We're just about ready for the final battle. There is one thing here that says turn back, but it says there's no turning back now. Dun, dun, dun. It's true. There is no turning back now. Unfortunately, we're going to have to accept fate here. Was there anything down here? I don't think there was. No. Okay, here we go. So, yeah, I'm gonna do the battle. I wonder if there's anything written on the walls. Can we use our spyglass from here? No. Okay, I'll try and use the spyglass, but yeah, I need to go and do the battle now. So, I don't know if there'll be anything in the actual room, but I guess we'll try and find out. 
Okay, here we go, we're in. Interestingly, Alice Angel just said, Henry, why are you here? Do you enjoy the drop into hell? I don't think we enjoy being in this permanent loop, but... Yeah, I, I can't use my spyglass right now, so I'll try and use it as soon as Boris jumps out, but I, I doubt there'd be anything written here, so... If there's nothing written in this room, uh, we'll just do the battle. Now, I remember when the Chapter 4 first came out, this battle was, like, glitched sometimes. It was super-duper annoying, but I imagine it's probably fixed by now, hopefully. Okay, here he comes. Here he comes. This is our Boris, transformed using the items that we collected just a chapter ago. <gasps> Boris. Oh, no, what has she done to you? What has she done to you, dude? Oh, it's so sad. Oh. <laughs> Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Is there anything hidden here? Oh, can I? Oh, I can't use it. No. Okay, I can't use my, my seeing tool here, so I'm just going to have to do the battle. Oh, 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 I can use my I can use my seeing tool. Okay, so we're in the battle here right now. This is going to be a little bit dodgy, I think, but I'm going to try my best. That wall. Porter. Gwendolyn. Oh, the pictures have got names. Albert. Who are these people? I don't know. Porter, Gwendolyn, Albert, Daisy. Friends to the end. Oh, do you see that? Hang on, look, look, look. Okay, so I'm going to try and, like, kite him around a bit. Okay, he's going to chuck the cart at me. Yeah, man. Just throw it. Just throw it already. Okay, there we go. Look. Friends to the end. OMGs. Anything else we can see here? It's just the names. Albert, Porter, Gwendolyn. Friends to the end. Oh, it's so sad. Boris. Oh, no. I'm so sorry, dude. I'm so sorry. Why? Oh, this animation looks a bit different from last time. Boris. Oh, it's so sad. And there she is. It's Allison. And Zero Chill Boris. And that's the hand from the animatronic that we just saw. Oh, it makes so much sense. Well, there we go. So, yeah, we saw some pretty cool messages in that one, actually. Um, Nice. Okay, so chapter 5 is beginning here, but unfortunately that's going to be about it for this episode. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please remember to poke me in that like button. And if you are not yet subscribed, go for it. Because we do bendy done fun. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. Rantiop!